Let's get this poppin', let's get this poppin'. Truth in the booth, dominating impulse, back at it again. We got church in the building. Preach. Nights, Nights of the table. Round Table. Back at it, doing what we do best. What's been happening, my brother? Long time no here. Man. Fans know. been missing your critiques. They really have. They've been hitting my inbox, been telling me we need the Knights back. And I give the people what they want, so you know what I'm saying? The Knights came back. I mean, I got two daughters, and it's a lot. It's a stressful world out here, but... We're going we to keep it, it rock. Let's go, let's go. All right, we y'all already know how we're going to do We got a hot and heavy episode. A lot's going on. Fall season is here. Uh, I'm going to throw in some NBA preview. I'm going to get to in, some NFL recap from, from my boy. Our, it's been going down in our fantasy league, too. Man, I so, uh, I've been uh, We got some Iron Fist as well. What you, what you want to get started with first, brother man? We can start with Iron Fist, actually. Iron Fist definitely surprised me on a lot of levels. A lot of them, man. Second season was so much better than the first one. I, I didn't. Like, was I the only person who didn't have a problem with the first season? I mean, I didn't really have a problem with it until they said something about it. Then I kind of was like, yeah, he did say that a lot, though. He, can, he did do this a lot. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, you well, know what I'm I, I feel what you're saying. They did get redundant. But I did like how they made Davos say it. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> shit was so. <laughs> <laughs> I am the immortal Iron I Fist. Am the immortal Iron hey, Fist. but Davos was a fucking <laughs> psychopath. He was, but after they show how his mama trained him, it's kind of like, that's no. his mom. You shouldn't no. even talk to him when he left. No, <laughs> no, but like, you know, when they actually showed how Danny got the Iron Fist, Davos was beating the shit out of Danny. He outsmarted him. No. Davos was beating the no, shit out of Danny. I don't think you got it, bro. I do, because Danny said, like, his anger kept him alive. Listen. That's how he got the Iron Fist. No, no. Y'all already know where we are, alive. by the way. He snap. He got, chose, studios. Look, he got chose to fight the dragon, bro, because he was holding back the whole time until he realized Davos would really kill him. That's why he turned it on at the end. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Uh, watch no, it. Davos was really like the, they yeah, say. They say yeah, you duel. Yeah. They say you duel until the death. Until the death. Or until someone yields. Yeah. Danny was giving him the business too. So. But listen, this is the thing. Remember, Davos had him on the ground and he was like, it's over, why won't you yield? And he's like, shit, because it's to the death. He was like, you want it so bad, But remember me, when bro. they was fighting? In no, the, in he, the... was, he was giving it to him, like, you want it so bad, you gonna push me to that point, kill me then, bro. But remember when Danny was fighting, he said, hey, remember, Davos, ask yourself, why does your daddy call the fight? Because remember, Danny was about to kill That's this nigga. because, like he said, he knew what you would turn into. That's what I'm saying, bro. That shit was sick. That shit was sick. One part I did enjoy, the Daughters of the Dragon storyline. Finally, it started slow, but Colleen getting sucked back into it, uh, the fight. You know what I'm saying? Trying to deal with so, remorse. That's with Misty what, Knight. You know, yeah. they probably were the one of the better parts of the entire series. We were getting the Immortal Weapon storyline, because they said that on, on the internet, but... How many are we gonna get? Which ones are we gonna get? And is her power gonna stay like that? That's, that was the confusing part. That's what I'm saying. She gonna stay because now nah, I understand it. I understand how it's only because I watch Naruto. And Naruto, you know, for for the longest time, you know, that you think he got this tail beast in him, but then you find out at the end of the show it's only half of it. Like, I gotta catch up on my Naruto. But I did one part I will say I was check I was watching Naruto on Netflix. It's so much better than Dragon Ball Z in a lot of ways because you can story. start it from the beginning and the story. The story itself is just better. But we uh that's just getting off topic even though it's on some yeah. cool shit. I did like the end we when need Danny to when we Danny need to start getting into some more anime. Anyway. Anime, yeah, we do, because it's a lot of good anime nah. out there besides Dragon Ball Z that the people would probably enjoy. Yeah. Uh when Danny came out with the gun food, when they were, him and Ward were asking about the original Iron Fist. Remember in season one when Bushido uh showed him the Iron Fist who was supposed to protect Kung Lung. And then, you know, Davos ended up on finding the body and getting the tattoo and resurrecting the spirit, yada yada. But then Danny comes back and like, nigga, I know gun and food now. That's some straight out the comic shit. It is. That was what Colleen was teaching him, right? 
I don't know, because remember he left and Colleen had the iron fist. Oh. So I think they just need to show how he got it back or no, what he, is it already he a part of you? Yeah, exactly. I, think he, I think it's already a part of you. Bro, uh, I think when you're chosen, it's like, think about, think about somebody trying to steal Thor's hammer. Only person I'm calling can. it back. It's coming. Nobody can call it back, bro. I've never, yeah, somebody can pick it up. Ain't nobody called it back. It's only a few who done picked it up. Not many. Yeah, but how many have called it back? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but since we on that, I like your segue. Uh, fuck it. We gonna th we gonna talk about some Avengers, uh, Captain Marvel, and Phase Four going going forward. Man, man, can I start? Let's go ham. All right. Because this is your expertise. We gonna start about none of that shit that you just said. <laughs> we are gonna start with Venom, October fifth. Oh man. I think Hardy. it's going to be out of control, big fella. I think it's going to be the best Spider-Man movie we've ever seen, big fella. I say Spider-Man because it's the Spider-Verse. Spider -verse. Yeah, yeah. So The best one? I don't know. Homecoming. Homecoming was nice. Or Spider-Man 2. That one comes out after. Uh, I don't know. Spider-Man 2. Oh, Spider-Man 2 with Dr. Ock. With Dr. Ock? Nah. But see, I, I did a rewatch. No, it was a. I did a rewatch. Speaking of Spider Man, I did, I, I did a rewatch. I think that whole trilogy's ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the but, entire but the trilogy. Is, is but the, the best. but the second one is probably the best, and then it's the coming. And uh, well, we should oh, just. Are we talking about all Spider Man? Yeah, because oh, I mean, you see how we didn't mention well, the amazing Spider Man. If that's, uh, it's terrible. That first one was that bad. I thought it was almost kitty like on on to the point to where he was like, oh no, don't shoot me, wah, 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 wah. like nah, that's that shit was ass. Bro. That's almost. I like some of the elements. I like some of the elements they were going for, but nah. You said they get it too bad. Nah, they were like, I don't even know nah, if well, Andrew Garfield check this out, was check perfect. This out, but check this out. I, t I tell you this, the only reason that they didn't make a trilogy is because um, Marvel made that deal. Otherwise, yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah, he was bro, supposed he to get was, a third movie. That's what but I'm we saying. did so not want saying, a third movie of I'm that bullshit. Not, look, <laughs> I, it was better than the Tony Maguire's. It was? Oh! You, not, you saying it wasn't? No, it oh, wasn't. Tripping, That's why we don't even mention them. That's like Lord Baltimore. Nah, he shot not being aimed. <laughs> but I do expect big things going forward with Ben and Tom Hardy. We're going to get Riot. We, and it's actually, he actually has a deal for a trilogy, so it's going to be like three movies. But I heard some inside about that too. Lay it on me, lay it on me. Okay, so. Y'all gotta they, love each snap. Gotta so, love it. So Marvel's deal doesn't necessarily include Venom. You get what I'm saying? It's strictly really Spider-Man, but they gonna make like a, a Venom verse because they say he's so much of a role character. His storyline itself goes so deep that you can make a whole ver a universe off his stuff. So we gonna see a lot more Venom. His deal's dead. If, if these three movies do good, he's probably gonna be in for the long haul. Out the gate, out the gate. Uh. Name me a bad Tom Hardy movie. I can't. Maxi Digger had like 20 lines. I mean, and that movie was good. probably the best movie that came out of that year. That movie was good. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of big things going forward. I, I expect big things with that Venom because there ain't much that comes out. Uh, shit. Bumblebee. Bum I haven't seen You haven't yet. seen Bumblebee? Seen Let's just say they're rebooting the entire Transformers universe. Uh, you guys follow Dominated Impulse. Is Mark Wahlberg still in it? Definitely not. I forgot the actress's name. Uh, but it's a total reboot going back to the 80s. They're using tra uh, Generation 1 Transformers from the cartoon. So this is going to be the most accurate we've been seeing. Oh, so we're going to see the Optimus Prime. We're going to see the Optimus Prime. We're going to see Optimus before he becomes We're going to see some We're going to see some Cybertron. No, he's still Optimus Prime. We actually see him in the trailer. Uh, we're going to see some vintage Cybertron. We see uh, some vintage Soundwave. Uh, we don't. We haven't seen Megatron. We haven't seen Starscream yet. But it's still a lot to come. We got Dropkick and Shatter. Uh, Shatter's played by Angela Bassett. So she's having a big year. Black Panther and Transformers in the same year. You know, got a shout out to Black girls doing amazing things in this industry. Uh, shit. What else is popping, bro? Uh, Captain Marvel is gonna be incredible. Captain Marvel. I, I hope it be. I hope it's incredible. Like they're setting up for so the Thanos faith. beatdown. She's the only person. And I got a theory coming up. Make sure y'all follow YouTube Dominating Impulse. All my Spotify listeners, check this out. 
since y'all new to what we do here, everybody who goes to Dominating Infos, the Facebook page, the 250th person who likes it will receive a $50 gift card from yours truly just to say thank you for rocking with us. But when we talk about Captain Marvel and Thanos and all that, uh, how you feel like that's going to play out? Because I know you said the trailer didn't wow you. I mean, the trailer didn't wow me, but I know her powers. So I don't know how it's going to A lot play of people out, really don't know but, that much about her. But the Russos have been, well, I mean, I could give them a little intel. I mean, pretty much, pretty much she's, she's an energy manipulator. So the whole us talking about Black Panther suit and the vibranium and how he could, you feel me? Right. It will be explained by her because all none of that works on her. See, not magical energy, not physical energy, not mystical. Like there's no type of energy you can hit her with that's gonna affect her. So how how's an infinity stone gonna affect her? How's a power stone gonna affect somebody who can absorb your shit and use yeah. it against you? See, but see, now I got a theory on why they're introducing her to begin with. As y'all know, Chris Evans. Uh, that was going back to my whole Spotify comment. Uh, Chris Evans said he was done. He wanted to start doing other things. He wanted to get into directing and producing. So he's stepping away from the Captain America mantle. I'm pretty sure at this point he will die in Avengers 4. But they're going to give him an honorable death. He's going to go out like a G, like a boss. Uh, as they said with the Soul Stone, a soul for a soul. Tony's probably going to have to sacrifice Cap. Or they're gonna come to it some sort of agreement to catch sacrifice himself. I'm pretty sure that's the way he's gonna go out. Okay, I have a theory for you. But we're gonna we're gonna get into that as I well. I have a theory for you. Lay it on me. Now everybody's watching these movies, and but we've never thought, what if you just destroy the Soul Stone and release the souls? Who can destroy the Soul Stone but Scarlet Witch? I don't know, but with yo, pause that whole subject. Have you heard Marvel announced that they're releasing a Loki, Loki, Loki come and on. Scarlet Witch? That's oh gonna be my God, I was shocked. I needed it in what? my life, but that brings me up to Scarlet Witch. We don't know. She she probably could destroy the Soul Stone. She she destroyed the other one. That's what I'm saying. But she's Ash now. She's been Ash. I mean, she's been Thanos. She <laughs> has been. <Thanos. laughs> Okay, okay, but hold up, wait. It's gonna have to be something with the quantum realm and something with Captain Marvel's powers that allow them, like, if she goes binary in the quantum realm at the right time, she can reverse time enough to where they have this one shot. Like, that's how I'm looking at it. What do you say, 400, <laughs> 4 million? Something, something, something. 14 million, million something, 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 65, like. And then all you had was one. one. So, uh, oh, but we all still died. <laughs> see, I think, to hope see I think they about to set up some secret war shit. That's why we didn't get Hawkeye in Avengers, no, I mean, in Infinity listen, War. He's a scroll. Now, I do. Hail Hydra, whatever you want to put, like, you know. They, oh, that's how you think it is? Yeah, I think that's how they okay, got to go. Okay, that don't, that ain't how I'm thinking it. Because I do like the Secret Wars, but they already said Captain Marvel is going to have the Scroll War, which is going to expose them guys. Exactly. Right? That's okay. why you see in the trailer, no, look, hit that old lady with the look, right, because she like, oh, but I'm a fucking secret, Scroll. But Secret Wars was when the X-Men and all of them was That's in. how they, they about to set up. Yeah, bringing, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they got the they already, box. Yeah, but they they, 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 they going to name drop it first before we see physical content of that shit. That ain't true, bro. That ain't true. Because some characters, the they, deal, they... Look, the deal, as we know, is finalized in America. They're just trying to They're, get it international. That's where they make the money. Okay, but at the same... That don't mean you can't drop no money here. here. Yeah, yeah. So we might see it in our movie. Think about it. Our movies don't come out till later across countries anyway. Like, across seas anyway. So we might see something... Because they... they it's a theory that Wolverine might pop up in one of these boys just because they can do it type shit. That like, shit would boys be know. Like, bro, that that automatically pushed the movie up six spots. So, uh, what you think about season two, Ozarks? Because I got some theories. I got a list. I actually took notes on our when I, when I was Man. watching this shit. Ruth just going my down. Character. This whole season was an origin of Ruth. Definitely my favorite no, character. I don't think it was an origin. I mean, but check it out though. They was laying how while she was a beast. 
in season I one, the and then whole, she went. Listen, listen. I think the whole thing is about Ruth, but we won't know to the end. I think it's about her meeting Marty and taking over the business and becoming that nigga. I think at the end of the show, she's going like when we like when she is going to be like a flashback, bro. Like she's telling the story about her life. That would be she, sick. Okay, but, but look, how about how many civil writers Jason Bateman? I think Bateman, this. By the way? I think this because he definitely stepped up in season yeah, one. Yeah, I think this is about Wendy's origin. She went from hating the shit to embracing it. She probably is one of the. Hey, this lets me know women are the coldest liars in the world. Cause she was moving in some of them rooms and manipulating some of these dudes. Like, hey, hey, when she gave the dude the bribe to get the deal done, he was like, hey, cut the shit. What? What? How much? I'll give you my fucking direct deposit number. <laughs> Get with you tomorrow. Like, let's not play, which brings me to a bigger theory. I'm pretty sure that's how deals get done in America every day in it voting is. rooms all over the country. It is. So they say it's important to vote. It's important to chase the bag, ladies and gentlemen. You chase the bag, you buy the block, you buy your endorsements, you control the power, you control the narrative, period. I'm pretty sure most most major votes is getting done like that. But uh, or maybe it's most minor votes. Are getting, like we don't know. They're not doing them all. Right. There's no way. There's no way they're doing them all. Cause there's somebody in there with just enough power to be like no. But so. I did notice about Wendy though. She was eaten up by a lot of guilt this season, and that kind of I think that's gonna you know spill over into season three as well. Minus. Minus, uh, you know, Jason Bateman said he wanted to show mental health in this series, and they wanted to show different levels of depression. And every character, even their kids, were dealing with some sort of depression. Like some people think it's depression, and you just like willowing away and you locked away. Like sometimes you really Man. out here active, getting it, but like something. it's like you locked and you trapping your own thoughts. Out when the senator, you know, off himself. Let me tell you one of the points in that in in this season that I hated. When Buddy died, they didn't have to kill Buddy. They did have to kill Buddy, but he was gonna die anyway, though. Buddy was a beast. He was gonna die anyway, though. They bro. need a new Buddy. And bro, I, I, need, I knew I knew he was gonna die when I knew he was gonna die when I start seeing him more and more and more in scenes. Yeah, you feel me? I knew he was gonna die anyway. He was too old to begin with. He was supposed yeah. to be dead. Yeah. So, so I knew he was gonna die, but I'm saying they need another buddy. A random motherfucker, like a token person just to walk through the house and, and crack that joke and keep the family in line. They need another buddy or they ain't gonna make it. Hey, speaking of buddy. But I think it's gonna be Roof. That's what I'm saying. Speaking of buddy. Sitting at the dinner table. Speaking of buddy. <laughs> fucking buddy, the FBI buddy. That nigga is a weirdo. He was a weirdo. Not only was he whacking off to the to the wire taps. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm watching <laughs> I'm sitting here watching it like, wait, I know this ain't what I think he's a Yes. And then he goes and Bro, and what's crazy is is they play it out so long, you don't even understand what's going on until it's over. Like I was watching, I was like, what the fuck is home doing? Because <laughs> you'll never hear a dude at first of so you like, oh okay, he's just whacking this shit. This is some gay shit. So then but then you start hearing shit, you're like, who the fuck? Like, I know that voice. Like that's homeboy. Aw, oh, you a creep, boy. Yeah, boy. That's but the then when he when he run up ran up on dude to give the pills to Darlene, who's crazy as fuck. Darlene was nuts. Darlene is nuts. Like she you. might be second favorite character. I don't know. She's unpredictable, bro. She don't care, bro. You she can't. You, but now she got Mason Baby. She said she was gonna chill out. But see, the thing is, I don't think the cartel gonna chill out because she killed the husband. You can't though, like that. The, the whole narrative of this series. Product, see, I think a lot of people don't. Keep the product coming, is sometimes it? I think the cartel don't give a fuck about the product because this whole se this whole season was set up around the killing of Dale. Every every deal was struck off of killing Dale. The casino, them promising yeah. the money. No, 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 but that was an eye for an eye. Until every it was until, until, but, but every party, party made the deal. but every party wanted more. That all like if you just trace your line, it all goes back to him. Let's just say he stayed alive. Then the casino is just some shit that Marty got as his stash away. The fans know nothing about what's going on. Or Darlene, dumbass getting jammed up. You feel me? That you, it all goes back to him, I think. So what you think about season three? What what what, what do you think they gonna spill into? Man, I don't know. I think the wife's gonna be okay. I think Marty's gonna be the most depressed person next season because he's gonna be dealing with the fact that he just killed a man and he wanted to run and his wife wanna stay. He losing his family, like. His it's son is becoming now. a beast slowly. His son is gonna be a 
the boy, he gonna be a goon. I seen that already. Yeah, I, I like how they they setting up his arc as well. Yeah. Jason Bateman is an amazing writer. I, like, I got I gotta I, give him credit. I already know what the daughter gonna do. The daughter's gonna be pro she probably gonna be a lawyer, bro. Eh, I don't know. They gonna have to do a time jump, bro. You think the so? The casino's up and running, bro. It's supposed to be stable now. They're supposed to be able to just chill. Yeah, that's, that's why they that's say why that. you, that's why you gotta do a time jump. Four, five. I don't know. Just I, just felt, I felt like we needed a random drop. You feel me? Uh, what else? Was